Eric and Eric here, Musky Home Brewing. Today we have a special beer review for you. We've been kind of late getting this one out, but it's well worth it. It's KBS by Founders, coming right up. All right, so Founders KBS is a highly sought after beer. Every year it comes out, once a year. It's aged below Grand Rapids for over a year. Um, when they think it's done, it's done, and they release it. So it's what? A, it's coffee, chocolate. Ale brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. There you go. We've had it. This was our first year being able to have get our hands on it. So we've tried it already. But we figured it's such a big beer that we wanted to do a beer review specifically on KBS. Yep. So here we go. You count your pieces of silver over there. <laughs> My silver shillings. I'm rich. <laughs> so, got it poured. It's a very dark uh, brown, uh, tannish, brownish head. Nice lacing on the glass. Stayed, I still have a pretty good, decent head. Yeah, I do too. Head. Yeah. Uh, aroma. Very chocolatey. Bourbony, um, oak, a little uh, bit of oak, coffee, very coffee, yeah, malty, very good smelling overall, mm -hmm. and uh, taste it all plays over in the taste, it tastes yep. exactly how it smells. You get a uh, strong bourbon kind of aftertaste, a good chocolatey up front that's kind of bitter to it, almost like a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. You got a nice coffee flavor, um, subtle, it's not overpowering. Um, balance is nice with the oak. Um, overall, it's a pretty, a uh, pretty well-rounded beer. Very well-rounded. Awesome. Little booziness at the end. Yeah, but it. But it's kind of expected with like 11 percent. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. But that 11 percent doesn't overpower mm -mm. the other flavors that are in this beer. No. I think the bourbon kind of helps hide it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're looking for something flavorful, it is quite expensive, but this is what you're looking for. Yeah. It's a very good stout. And that's why it's so expensive. It's such a limited release. They only have so many bottles. I mean, mm -hmm. there were liquor stores with just a case. Yep. And they were selling them by the bottle, so. Yep. You can buy it in a bomber, or you can buy it in a single bottle if you're lucky enough to get some of it you can age it we've gotten a couple bottles that we are aging till next year but it is pricey like i said i think uh, i paid eight dollars for a single bottle like this and then i think 20 bucks for a bomber i think i paid in 23 for a bomber it's expensive yeah this is a great beer for someone who is kind of just okay with all of the other stouts because this is just phenomenal and mm -hmm. it's it's just a like eric was saying well-rounded beer it's it's just a good beer overall ranks up where with the best beers in the world so i mean it's definitely something that you've, if you've never had and you like craft beer to try yes um even though the price is high it's something that you probably should try once i, I bought, bought a lot <laughs> i bought two bomber i bought two bombers and two bottles okay that's right yeah so that's almost 60 bucks <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> for four beers that's a lot of money for four beers yes, it is. if you said that to like uh somebody who drinks like miller light or quartz light they'd probably shit their pants yeah you can have one of these 12 ounce bottles or a case of Miller Lite. <laughs> Which do you choose? <laughs> I still think a case of Miller Lite was cheaper than a bomber of this. Uh, what would you give this? Out of five. Founders KBS, I'm gonna give it a 4.75. It is a world renowned stout and I believe it deserves it. It is a great, great beer. Little pricey, but without taking that into consideration, something I will look for each year. All right, this is our review on KBS. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube page for more content, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers, guys. Cheers.